What's up, y'all? You have tapped in with Black Goddess Intuitive Healer, and I'm here to bring you all messages for the sign of Pisces. All placements. So if you happen to have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, these messages could resonate for you in your situation. Take this energy as it resonates. Leave the rest, you all. Put plate... Place the energy where y'all know it's supposed to go, okay? Don't take nothing that's not for y'all, okay? We're not wearing no shoes that don't fit us. All right, Pisces. Let's get into y'all energy. Okay, so somebody gonna come in with some type of communication, Pisces. Okay, be very assertive with this person because they feel like... They feel like you owe them something, okay? For some of y'all, this person feel like they owe you owe them or something. So be very assertive. Don't yell. Don't lose your damn cool. This person gonna come in with that energy. So for some of y'all, y'all somebody's some somebody gonna come in and try to trigger you, okay? Don't let this person trigger you, okay? Do the work. Make sure you're working on controlling you, Pisces. Because remember, you can't control what nobody else do. You can only control what you do, okay? Be in control of yourself. So initially, you know, if you got to do a yelling match, screaming match, this person want to take your energy. Don't be doing no yelling. Don't scream. Don't argue. Because that's just a, a, a narcissistic way of... Oh, I need some energy. Let me get your energy. No. That's exactly what this is. This person is like an a energetic vampire. And that's why you had to remove yourself from a situation here. You could have been in a relationship with this person. So we got relationship change here. It says a change in status may be taking place in your most intimate partnerships. Like this one here. It looks like a cycle that needed to be closed out here, Pisces. You initially closed this cycle. I feel like you initially stopped running away from your own inner problems, Pisces, and you started dealing with your own things that you needed to deal with in yourself. And like, why were you allowing different things to happen to you? You know what I'm saying? So you you had to work on some forgiveness within yourself, Pisces. I don't really truly feel like you even care about this relationship change. I feel like a lot of y'all are happy that this changed. It was like y'all couldn't get away from this cycle. It's because you not, you needed to learn a lesson or two from this individual. So take it as it resonates. A lot of different things could have been moving slow in your life. You know what I'm saying? You could have been feeling like, you know, let me just be patient right now. Let me just be patient and... Um, focus initially on the inner side of me because external, y'all know y'all can't control nothing that go on on the outside of y'all. Y'all that really don't be having nothing to do with y'all, especially projection and shit that people want to try to throw at y'all. That shit bounce right back because those are inner projections of those people and how they feel about themselves. And that's why it was, it's so easy for y'all to be able to persevere through criticism and certain shit, even if it's good criticism. Some of y'all feelings still be feeling some type of way when somebody try to correct y'all and or tell y'all what to do and or just be teachable and you don't have to be teachable to everybody and sometimes you just need to be teachable to the person to people that you've already learned to like oh yeah you already taught me a lesson i'm not going back down that road i'm not repeating that course again crash course pisces you feel me Okay, so y'all are at peace at this time. And I feel like the more y'all move further from the energy, the more y'all became more peaceful. You know what I'm saying? The more peace was brought into y'all life. For Pisces spirit, show us what we need to see for Pisces. Family ties. I feel like y'all could have... um. Y'all could have removed yourselves from some family members as well, okay? And I also feel like some of y'all could be celebrating here. Some of y'all could be celebrating a divorce here, Pisces. Y'all could be divorcing somebody and y'all want to celebrate here. Take this energy as it resonates. I'm definitely getting somebody is celebrating a divorce. Somebody having a divorce party. This is, y'all, it's crazy. <laughs> Whoever, whatever Pisces I'm channeling for is having a divorce party. Wow, that's so funny. I'm hearing a family member so damn happy. 
the family members is happy you're divorcing this person. This person could be a um a Libra, Gemini, and or Aquarius very significant. Mm-hmm. This relationship change is about to bring a lot of new abundance into your life. Okay. It's a lot of a new energy and um, new love. Somebody finna get pregnant as soon as they have sex here with a new soulmate. I just got that. Somebody finna get married. Okay. But we do got to somebody take the energy as it resonates, Pisces. Somebody is um, about to celebrate a divorce. Somebody having a divorce party here. Um, anyway, like I was saying, this relationship change is about to bring a lot of abundance. So I feel like somebody could have been dealing with somebody that had like some bad energy on them and they were, um, stagnating blessings and or slowing down abundance here. Yep. With financial review, somebody, um, wasn't good with money here. Somebody might have not been good with money. Somebody wasn't saving money here. Take the energy as it resonates, Pisces. I feel like you couldn't keep money in a relationship here with a person. This person could have married you and or got with you for financial stability to keep them on their feet. I'm definitely getting that. Somebody could have been using you for your finances. Yep, and an adjustment is required. So, yeah. Thank you, Spirit. You initially gave up on this connection here. You you kind of felt like it was some bridge over trouble water. Like, you, a lot of y'all are thankful as shit, okay? It could be a Gemini very significant to this situation. It could be a young person very ex significant to this situation. I feel like some your, this person could have needed to work on their inner child here. Okay, this person wasn't responsible, very reckless with spending money. It could be an Aquarius, very significant to this situation. Okay. I feel like you learned a different way here. You learned a different way. You learned how to save money. Like, you just initially removed yourself from people, places, and things that were just like reckless energy, reckless behavior. I'm definitely getting that here. For Pisces. You got a gift coming in here. So somebody could want to bring you in a gift. Pisces. Somebody could want to bring you a gift. Okay. I feel like you got. Um, your gifts here are advancing. Okay. So y'all could be coming into some different spiritual gifts here as well. Pisces. Okay. So pay attention to different things around you. Y'all could be seeing orbs more. Y'all could be seeing a lot more orbs. Y'all could be, I feel like a lot of y'all are getting a lot of angelic presence. Y'all got a lot of angelic, heavy angelic presence and or protection, ancestral protection around y'all, Pisces, okay? It says you're going to make it after all. Embrace change and new beginnings. It's up to you to manifest your dreams. Okay, so y'all are manifesting y'all dreams here. And I feel like y'all benevolent ancestors and spirit guides has definitely got their foot in everything up in this. They are definitely protecting y'all at this time. Okay, they are leading you all and guiding you. And I feel like a lot of y'all are allowing this to happen here. They are leading y'all to close um, a karmic cycle here for some of y'all. Y'all closed a karmic cycle here. And for some of y'all, got a cycle still open, but y'all not dealing with this person. And initially, y'all have already made like a spiritual uh, decision. Okay, so y'all could have been married to this person in past lives. I feel like it could feel like a real divorce, like... Divorce don't necessarily got to be on paper. Some of y'all be spiritually married to these people and y'all don't even be knowing it. Yeah. Y'all be spiritually married. People be, well, that's my husband and I got the ring and the paperwork. That don't mean shit when you got a soul connection with somebody. And that's why I tried to explain that to some ding dong that wanted to argue me down about a marriage certificate and a ring and all of that. That don't mean nothing when you're in a soul connection. That means 
everything about this person. Y'all got so many similarities. Y'all damn near look alike. Y'all got similarities um, in situations with each other. Y'all trigger each other. Y'all trigger each other to heal. Y'all down here to teach each other lessons and trigger each other to heal. That's initially what these connections be about. You know what I'm saying? And people be like, well, oh, that's my husband. Didn't get married. Didn't get married and whatever. And don't even be knowing you got a whole nother soulmate across town you supposed to come into union with. And here it is. You trying to hold on to Ray Ray and Ray Ray a twin or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's how that happens. But y'all ancestors is guiding y'all to clear out some karma here. It says a karmic gateway has opened. Honor your duties and responsibilities. Abundance will follow this karmic completion. Close out this cycle. Close it out. It's, it's coming back around, Pisces. It's coming back around because somebody done manifested you back. I'm seeing here. But for some of y'all, this could be a karmic soulmate. And y'all could just have to learn lessons with this individual. I'm hearing y'all learned several. Okay. So go ahead and close this out when this person comes back in. I feel like a lot of y'all are thankful. Okay. A lot of y'all are thankful to be able to let go of what you no longer need or what's no longer serving a purpose in your life. Like just baggage and just hanging around, just around to be around. A lot of times y'all don't even be in love with these people no more. Y'all don't even have those feelings that you used to have because you started perceiving shit differently. Like, okay, so this is why you was in my life. Okay, so let me take my emotions back from all this shit so I can have a better understanding on why we had to do this and or the lessons at hand. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all are in this different energy of perceiving things like um, that was supposed to happen or this is supposed to go like that. Pisces, that's really good energy. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the Most High is so proud of y'all for even being able to look at something differently and not look at it as, oh, they betrayed me or that victim shit. Y'all not in that victim energy. Y'all are like, Ding! like who said what? Oh, they blocking blessings. Let me get the hell on. That's the energy y'all in Pisces. And like I said, go ahead and close this cycle out or whatever. For some of y'all that could feel like this was some type of cycle, this past person is definitely going to come back around trying to distract your new beginnings here. I feel like for a lot of y'all, this person sees that you guys are abundant and that y'all are healing and that y'all are moving back into this, moving back in to y'all confidence before this person broke y'all confidence, okay? So they could be planning to be manipulative in the background to try and break your confidence, Pisces. Take the energy as it resonates. Do not be distracted. Do not be fooled by the devil's work, okay? We don't play with confusion. We don't play with the devil's work. We know what it looks like before it even comes, okay? So make the necessary decisions that you need to make to continue on moving forward, Pisces. I love you all so much. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If these messages resonate for you, comment down below. If they do not, still comment down below. I respond back to you. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome, okay? You know what I'm saying? Uh like the channel, like the video. The love is free. All right, Pisces. And I will check y'all later. Mwah.